What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? When cocky fighters get destroyed, I'm... Hey, this shit could be... Hey, isn't this Holmes? Or Holly? Holly Holmes? Right? I don't know. Any... Dang, she got no ass. I mean... Boating has almost oh, become a whoa. staple in all fighting sports. Damn, Some bro. I, I was kind of hoping, like, this was just, like, the clips. But, no, nah, there's a motherfucker talking over well it. well and still win. God damn it. While others Whatever. fall flat on their face, left humiliated Whatever. and bruised. Oh! There's an old phrase that says the You you dumb as shit. You deserve that. No, I'm bruised. so happy that shit happened. Oh! You deserve that shit. Nah, that's I'm so stupid. There's an old wow. There's phrase that says those who are willing to run their mouth wow. should be willing to back it up. Well, in today's video, we will take a look at 15 fighters who definitely <laughs> couldn't back up their cocky and overconfident behavior, which resulted in losing the fight and oftentimes the respect of the audience. He died. Before we get stuck in, that fool lost. Don't that fool got burned. Subscribe button. And yeah. Rip. Okay. Cool, man. Come on. Jules the Jackal thought that his intimidation I've seen this. I've seen this. I've seen this. Victory for him in the ring against Ben Nguyen. As it turned out, that was certainly not the case when Ben smashed through the tattooed jackal's defenses to land a. Oh, that shit was nasty. That was so clean. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I mean, he missed the uppercut, but look right here. No, wait, right. Boom! He slipped that bitch to eat. Oh, that was nice. That was clean. I've seen that. I've seen that before. What the fuck are you doing, man? Get. Bro! Oh, oh my god. When Jason Solomon entered the ring to fight Amitesh Shabi, he came in with a bad attitude, even pushing his face into his opponents. Well, Chobby managed to knock that chip off his shoulder in just nine seconds. Oh! Maybe next time Solomon will show a little more respect in a sport where you nine seconds. Well, Chobby managed to knock that chip off his shoulder in just nine seconds. Maybe next time Solomon will show a little more respect in a sport where you can get your face hammered in. Yo! Nine oh, seconds, bro. Ain't he's no hit. fucking he's way. Hit. Nah, that fool's a duck that right now. That fool's a duck that right now. There's no way. <laughs> wow. Beth Korea was trying her hardest to coax Holly Holm to punch her. Well, Holm did exactly what she wanted by landing a powerful kick to Korea's face, knocking her down. Sometimes you have to be careful what you ask for. <laughs> Just like that. Boom. Oh, he, she ate that chin. Dang, she didn't even play defense. She was so. French boxer Sabrina. She got fucking learned the clock after two. You should never celebrate a win until you've actually been declared the winner. Damn. The dancing around and dodging only left him open for Sam Maxwell to take the upper hand. That's. You just want to get knocked out right For there. Sam, you just want to get clocked. Bro, one good right. That's it. Maxwell to take the upper hand. Boom, he could have popped him right there. The fact that homie didn't take advantage there is actually kind of crazy. You can't even really see it because they switched the camera angle. I thought he was going to try and get up. He just thought that I... Oh, wow. Despite making the crowd and the commentators laugh with his clown-like antics in the ring, Nate, it was his opponent who got the last laugh when he won on points regardless. Maybe next time he will take things a little more serious. Or at least land a few more hits before the match. Is that Nate? No. Is it? Or is that Nick? Michael Pereira is arguably the king of showboating. Always happy to oblige his fans with some silly moves that include dances, backflips, or launches from the cage. In fact, it makes him resemble a Power Ranger rather than an MMA fighter. Well, things soon changed when Pereira came face to face with Tristan Connolly. 
Although he entered the ring with a break dance, he ended it with a broken face. He used so much energy on that breakdance, it's uh, insane. I, I want the Klitschko's heads, plain and simple. No doubt. You and your brother. And I'm going to have them. This year, I'm going to have both of them. Klitschko is one of the most reserved fighters in boxing, refusing to engage in trash talk. Well, when David Hay decided to go out of his way to taunt the fighter during the lead up to the fight, even printing off a t shirt of him standing over the Klitschko brothers with their decapitated heads in his hands. Klitschko made sure it was he who got the last laugh. Isn't this the guy that was just in the MMA fight? What the fuck? Did that fool switch sports after that last one? Like what? Damn, his hands weren't even up. Now you deserve that shit from that. <laughs> I like what? I respect the honesty. He don't even talk shit. He's just throughout this fight between Joe Harding and ass. Johan Sega, Harding doesn't seem to be taking things too seriously. Something that became his downfall when Sega used the opening to deliver a knockout kick. Joe with a high, high kick, kick that lands and then a jab to follow it up. Again with the jab. Oh! Then... Yes! That's so oh, stupid, yes! dude. Oh my god. And that's exactly what I said. Is you don't believe I never come across don't feel another bad at boxer all. who is as arrogant as Adrian the Problem Bronner. The super confident fighter is never shy Damn, to run up to Floyd. a fight, especially when it comes like, to the a while media. back. <laughs> in 2013, however, I think in the beginning of the video you'll see me say Floyd. An undefeated Bronner met his match when he ran yeah. into Argentinian Marcos El Chino Maidana. After showboating at every chance he got, it was Maidana who got the last laugh. He knocked Bronner down for the first time in his career in round two and went on to win the fight. Giovanni Andre's bizarre dance style movements. Can we, can we, bro, he put a... He he was he uh, was half. He knocked by he, her down. I mean, was my Don? You know, my Don Bronner met his match when he ran into Argentinian Marcos like El the Chino Maidana. After showboating at every chance he got, it was what? Bro, he what was I? I that's I don't know, know, bro. Some fool recently in MMA just grabbed, grabbed some fool's ass in a clinch in too. Five. Like, what is up with these fools, bro? Announcer smiling. Oh my god! Rigando didn't find the funny side. Like that fool's literally dry humping his shit. And then yesterday, some dude literally just got a handful of ass mid fight, like mid, like in the clinch. He was like, you know what? Just squeeze his. After wow, dude, these fools are crazy. Hit that should be like sexual around. assault. <laughs> Andre found himself on his knees again. Only this time it was because of a body shot that stopped him from going on. Oh, you can see Riggin the Al has not learned how to do that too much. It's a like body shot, and now Andre opts to go down, and now he's wincing in pain. He does get up. Didn't seem like it was a particularly vicious shot, but who are we to say? Okay. He's shaking his it's head, he's quitting. And it's it. That's it. He's quitting. Unfortunate. There's a certain strain of bacteria called Lactobacillus ruteri that will help you grow bigger balls. Oh, study, what the fuck? This fighter oh. doesn't know when to stop. After the being hell? knocked down a number of times, he tries to taunt his opponent by saying he had only been boxing for three weeks. Of course, that made knocking him down a few more times a pleasure. So what, you've been boxing three weeks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox, I'm coming.
coming for you. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Although Mike Tyson said he was going to eat Lennox Lewis's children in a bizarre interview, it seemed that the only thing he did chow down on was the canvas. Not only does Tyson earn his nickname Iron Mike for his punches, but also for how hard he hits the ground. Highly motivated to come into this fight, hoping that this fight would not hold. Yeah, you can't take that hard. Right hand from Lewis. And that concludes our top 15 moments where showing off went very wrong. Hey man, hike. <laughs> Out of all these Mike stole that motherfucker, I don't care. But damn. I mean, dude, what the. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I mean. I mean, what the fuck?